Ham Ham He opens his eyes. He sees you. He wants to tell you his life story. He feels he needs to drift back into the tide of his memory. Back, back and back. And I'm the lonely skinhead again. Jogging away every day. To be the best, to be the best. And the press-ups and the sit-ups. In count of one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You've got to be fit to fight. I practice tactics every day with my mates. I want to be the best skinhead around. I want to give everything, every single thing, to the experience of the tingle. Well, I'll tell you about the tingle just a bit later in my story. You've got to be fit to fight. I practice tactics every night. Do you know what I do? Did you used to work in this asphalt factory? No, I did. I'll explain. My opponent, anyone you like, the city fan, the cunt, the shagged Ricky's bird. You pick. It could be Ted the Foreman, anyone, I don't care. My opponent, just there. Targets, face, neck. Be a battle. Dick, shin, top of the foot, top of the foot. Bro, I don't give a fuck about any of them targets. Just one target I cared about. And that's the neck. I want this vein here. That's all I want. I'm Augie Moxon. I'm hard as nails. Hard as toe-cap boots. I'm hard. As marble in a church, as concrete on your head, I'm hard. As linen Hebrew is hard, then so am I. Even Bashford knows I'm rock. His cane wilts like an old sock. And he knows if any teacher in this shit-pot school lays one finger on me, God be my judge. I'll have their hides. And if not me, I'll not be a babe. Be up there soon. All the female flesh fancy me in my 501s. I see their eyes flicker to my buttonhole flies. Last Christmas dance. Me and Miss Prime pranced to some bullshit track. And she told me I was great. So I slid my hand right down her back and gripped that ass. And he had a sigh for me. And be warned. When Augie Moxon's around, set out your cigs and lock up your daughters. said the watch was a gift but if you recall correctly I did pay for part of the TV it's not like you can afford it on your own now is it okay you know what if you want the watch you can have it it don't really mean that much to me anymore it's not the watch I want Mickey just give it a rest <laughs> give it a rest you mean to actually tell me you come up here for tea? Yeah, what do you think I come up here for? <laughs> you are so full of shit. How'd you figure that one out? <laughs> Can you actually tell me you don't think about me anymore? Well, of course I think about you. I think about what you and that cunt could add together in my flat. <laughs> oh, 
come on. We both knew our relationship was over before that. I wanted a career and you wanted... And the hell I knew what you wanted. You know what? I did. I wanted this. But no. Oh yeah. Your brother told me you got married. My brother? Since when did you speak to Matt? Well, you know, he and his friends have real jobs, so occasionally I bump into him. It's a shame he's married, isn't it? You two probably would have got it on or something, knowing you. Maybe. Look, I am sorry, you know. Like, the way you found out like you did. I would have liked to have been friends. Friends? Really? Oh, please, Mickey, put your fucking sanctimonious bullshit to rest already! I just think to myself all the time, I could just imagine. I bet it beats second cock for a living, doesn't it? It depends whose cock it is! <laughs>